Hello, hello, everyone. We're back to discuss another anime that just ended the season. It is going to be I'm Quitting Heroing. So this one, if you can remember, is the one about the hero named Leo who saves the human world from the demon attacks. But because he's too strong and basically single-handedly defeated all the generals and the demon queen, uh, humanity basically kicks him out and doesn't like him. So he joins the demons. And uh, is like, hey, I want to work for you guys now. I gotta say, this show, while it did have some actually really good twists and turns in it, overall it was just so disappointing. Like, I have never been so let down by like an ending, I think, in my memory anyway. Probably there is one that I'm just like blocking out because I don't care uh, enough. Because it was such a shitty ending. But, but this one, man, in recent times, this, this is just such a bad cop-out ending, I gotta say. Like, it, I guess it makes sense for the overall, like, vibe and theme of the story, right? But, ah, uh, man. And I'll get into the specifics about how it ended and why I don't like it uh, a little bit later. Uh, when I talk about a little bit of spoiler stuff, of course. But... Basically, all you need to know about the show is it all boils down to the hero, Leo, trying to convince the uh, generals to, let a, uh, to tell Echidna to let him join the army, basically. Um, so throughout the various episodes, he goes through helping them with various tasks, such as, you know, how to train soldiers better, uh, how to, like, communicate with your underlings better, how to better transport goods and you know, ask people for help, and, you know, just really generic stuff that doesn't matter in the long run, right? And actually, I guess, like, three of the things that he tells people to do is, like, the same. One of them is just, like, hey, like, Delegate tasks to people under you. The other one is, hey, uh, you know, just communicate better, dude. And the other one is, hey, like, put yourself in your subordinate shoes. Like that. So it's all just about, like, hey, like, communicate better, right? No, actually, all of them are, because the other one is, like, just, hey, uh, ask people for help, you know? And it's like, my God, it's, it's, it's all the same. All of the generals had the exact same issue. They just lacked communication to, like, properly delegate and deal with, like, their problems. Oh, my God. Now that I think back on it, it was horrible. I thought because, like, each of them had, like, a little bit of a differently nuanced thing. Like, it was a little bit different, and he went about it a different way. But no, it literally boils down to they just cannot communicate properly. You know how there's that show, Comey Can't Communicate? Um, this show should have been demon generals can't communicate. And so a hero helps them. Like, my God. I just realized it. Man. But regardless, uh, so it's basically about that. But in like the, towards the end, after he gets rid of all these problems, it like takes a turn and it's a, very, very interesting turn. I will say that. Like, once they revealed um, Leo's history, like, backstory, and, like, the history of the world, and stuff like that, I was like, wow, that is, that is top-tier, like, crazy stuff. Like, that is great. That is cool. And I was excited to see where they took it. But where they took it was just nowhere. They didn't do anything with it. And uh, that was really disappointing. I don't know if maybe the, like, light novel is uh, better descriptive or if it runs longer and talks about more stuff, but I haven't read it. I've also not read a manga, so I don't know anything of, like, missing or anything from this. Well, I can tell you 
is that as the anime itself, if I had to be like, I want a second season, hell no. Like, it doesn't even leave room for, like, a second season. The only thing left after a second season would be just more monotonous task-doing stuff. And that would just be a slice of life at that point. But, like, my God. So, would I recommend this? Probably not. Do I wish I watched this at the beginning? No. I actually wish I would not have watched this and just spared myself the, like... God, what is it? Twelve times, like... 20 minutes divided by 60 is like four hours that I've spent these last couple weeks. Not couple weeks, these last like 12 weeks, right? With uh, watching the show. I had four more hours in my life. But sadly, I don't know. So, shit. Anyway, yeah, I I'm not a big fan of the show. Uh, kind of bummed I didn't drop it. It had its ups and its downs, but the ending really just made me mad and, like, why? And so we're going to talk about some spoiler stuff now. So if you don't want to hear spoilers, if you want to watch the thing yourself, or you don't care about spoilers, you know, you can stop watching now. Um, but from here on out, it's going to be spoiler territory. So I'm just going to give you guys a couple seconds. If you want to just pause the video, or, well, not pause the video, because it's going to be spoilers all the way through here until I'm done and tell you guys to come back next time. But, it's spoiler time, baby. So essentially, Leo is this, like, bioweapon from, like, 3,000 years ago. And when I say 3,000 years ago, I mean, like, present day, like, Earth. Literally, like, no magic Earth, right? And so one day, in, like, present day modern Earth, demons attack. Like, they just sprout out of the ground and start attacking stuff. And apparently they're really powerful and our guns aren't very strong against them. And so humanity develops, like, these, like, seven or so heroes. I forget the exact amount. A number of heroes called the Demon Heart series. And they're, like, they're like bioweapons, right? And uh, Leo is one of them. And he's got, like, a, they call it a Philosopher's Stone that's powering him. But it's, like, a, a mini-engine kind of thing that's, like, eternally powering him. And so he and the other ones go around killing the demons who are invading and whatnot. And long story short, after, you know, the demons keep invading and stuff, Leo's the last one left. And once the demons are pushed back, he just continues journeying around the earth for, you know, hundreds of years. And then the demons attack again. And so he kills them and pushes them back again. And then more time goes by. And, and as the time goes by, after the waves and waves of, you know, demon attacks uh, happen and tear down human society, they lose technology. They lose their, like, buildings and all this stuff. So... Like, they have ruins of, like, skyscrapers and stuff around, but they're back in, like, the Middle Ages. So it's like a normal fantasy world, right? Um, by the time the story actually takes place. And so Leo, you know, defeats the, the queen and is banished from the kingdom because they're like, you're too strong and we're afraid of you, so get out of here. So Leo joins them, but he's joining the demon army with the intention to see if they're worthy or not of killing him and taking the Philosopher's Stone inside of him to use themselves. And then to also safeguard humanity. Because Echidna and them, they, uh, they didn't go around killing innocent people and ravaging villages and that kind of stuff. They were, you know, nice demons. If people would surrender, they would let them live and all that kind of stuff. So he kind of wanted to pass off his heroing duties to them. And also at one point, um, like when there was like a long period of time without demons invading and a lot of peace, Leo was kind of like, man, I can't, you know, fulfill my purpose of being a hero for humanity. So he was going to create all of these like uh, bioweapons himself that would act as like demons or something like that to attack humanity so he could fight them to protect humanity. Weird shit, right? Like, his, like, coding or whatever was breaking down, you could say. 
uh, because he just could not fulfill his purpose. And so he was going to create a purpose for him to continue living, right? But anyway, near the end, and this is the thing that got me, Leo takes the generals and the queen up to this mountain saying that, oh, hey, there's a philosopher's stone up here. I'll give it to you. Uh, you can take it back to the demon world because the demon world wants the philosopher's stone to uh, make it like a, a better place to live. And Leo explains, hey, that's not how the philosopher's stone works. It's just like a mini power plant kind of thing. Um, but I'll give you this one that I've been protecting for all these years. And, whatnot. and they don't know at this point that he has a philosopher on inside of him. But they get up to this mountain. And then Leo drops the bomb. Hey, second philosopher stone that uh, I said was up here. Yeah, it was actually inside of me. So if you want it, you're going to have to kill me. Right? And so they are all like, oh, no, we don't want to kill you, Leo. But he like starts attacking them and like nearly killing them. And so they start fighting back begrudgingly. And then Echidna has this like spell that's been passed down from demon lord to demon lord. Um, that's the anti-Leo spell, because Leo's name has been Leo for like the past 3,000 years. So they've made a spell specifically to counter him. And that's why it's called that. And so she uses it, puts him at death's door, so the philosopher's stone inside of his chest is like exposed. And at this point, he's like, all right, take it. And, you know, we'll make up with humanity. And, you know, figure out how to use the stone for the help of the demon people, right? You know, and if they would have taken that stone, um, I would have been like, okay, cool. Excellent. And if they would have been like, okay, we took the stone and now we're, you know, like 10 years later, they show like the demon world being like all beautiful instead of like a wasteland and like they show peace between the demons and like the, uh, the humans I would have been like, oh yeah, shit, cool. That's great. But instead, they did a cop-out on the final episode, and they do not kill Leo. And instead, they're like, you're going to be the bridge between humanity and the demons, and you're going to help us make peace and all this, which does not solve the issue of the demon world being a wasteland. And in the demon world... All the demons are fighting each other because they don't have like enough food and stuff, which was the whole reason the demon world or the demon army invaded in the first place. So unless like their whole goal now is to leave the demon world and move into the human world, there's literally no way to finish their mission. It makes no sense. It was all just because ever Leo made like a huge impact on these people's lives and stuff like that. So like, yeah. And they, they didn't want to kill him. And so instead of taking the philosopher's stone from him, they spend the next, like the first 10 minutes of the final episode, basically kicking him around and saying, you're an idiot. We're not taking the philosopher's stone until he heals. And then once he heals, they're like, you're just going to work for us now. And, you know, help us make amends as friends and all this nonsense. And it's like, dude, God damn it. And it's like, bro, c c c come on. So it's just a huge cop out. And it ends basically where it started with uh, a bunch of messes coming in right at the end. Like, oh, the, the Waverins are rebelling and uh, we're running out of food. And there's a magic book in the library that's causing problems and summoning chimeras and all this other stuff. And so all the demon generals go to deal with it. And then Leo, of course, goes to help them. And so it literally just turns into them having to complete a bunch of normal everyday tasks. They don't even like dispatch him to talk to the Cuban kingdom um, at all. Uh, yeah, like ridiculous. What they should have done was Leo should have like disguised himself in the first place. Uh, Cause like he first goes to a kidnap and asks to join, and the kid is like, fuck off. And so he disguises himself as this, like, death knight kind of thing. Like, a, just all black metal armor, you can't see his face and stuff like that. And joins uh, after talking to the generals, and like, disguising himself, so only Echidna doesn't know who he is, but the generals do. 
And so as this like knight called Onyx, he helps them with their tasks and gets a kidness favor, right? He should have just done that to like all of them. Just not disclose that he was the hero. And then like after learning their true purposes and judging them worthy, he should have been like, by the way, I know where we can find a second philosopher's stone, right? And then told them like to go to this mountain where the hero is like staying at. Okay. And because I'm pretty sure Leo knows like illusion magic, he could have created an illusion of Onyx leading the, the generals and the queen up to the mountain. And then he could have been the hero up there. He could have killed Onyx just in like a first hit, just so the illusion's gone and didn't have to deal with that nonsense. And then let himself be killed by the generals so they could take the Philosopher's Stone. And uh, it would have been just perfect. Like, that would have been the perfect way that the story could have went. You know? But in, instead, they, they did this huge cop-out thing where, like, the last two episodes didn't really matter. Like, in fact, nothing really mattered. Like, they could have just been... The, the whole series could have boiled down to three episodes. Okay. Leo defeating the demons and then being kicked out and then going to join the demons. The second episode could have been him helping the demon generals and getting their trust. And then the third episode could have been also him helping some generals. And then finally, after helping the generals and convincing them, also convincing Echidna that, hey, I should join. And then that's all. Like, there was no other, like, nothing of substance was really, like, gained from the rest of the story. Like, sure, we learned about his background, and we learned about, you know, why the demons were here, and we learned about, you know, he had a philosopher's stone inside of him and all this stuff. But none of that really matters, because the ending didn't use any of it for any reason. Like, we learned a bunch of information that wasn't necessary to move the plot. And was not necessary to, like, develop any characters. Like, they're all basically the same as they were when they started. Like, they can communicate with their underlings and stuff a bit better. And Leo is still, like, someone who wants to, like, not cause harm to people or demons. Like, no one really gained anything. The only thing that was gained was, I guess, friendship. And, like, trust between the demons and Leo and stuff. But, like, even that, like... That was gained by everyone else in, like, the first couple of episodes when he helped the demon generals and stuff. It's like, my god. Ugh. I was real disappointed. Like, episode 11 ended with, like, Leo getting basically killed. So I was hoping episode 12 would have been, like, the demons being like, okay, we'll carry on your wish, and we'll, you know, do all this stuff. But it didn't. And I was hella disappointed, let me tell you. It basically turned the last episode into a moot point. Like, it didn't even matter. Yeah. Anyway, that's my take on this show, everyone. Thank you all for listening. It's a little bit longer because I had to rant about it for a while. But until next time, I will catch you all later. And uh, we'll go from there. Bye for now.